Hello, Hello, everyone! Yay! Are we sad? Are we sad? Why are we sad? It's our last show. What? It's our last show. Cheep, 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 crickets. No, oh, crickets. Sorry, that was tough. <laughs> you sound like a chicken. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hi, everyone. everyone. Welcome. All right. Announcement first. Dining on a Dime Cookbook Volume 1 in Gluten-Free, Dairy-Free, and our financial planner, which I forgot to grab a copy of. Still in stock, I have 16 Volume 1s left, and I have about 650 Gluten-Frees left. As 60% off right now, livingonadime.com, 60% off until we run out of stock or July 11th, whichever comes first at midnight. I'm shipping the morning of the 12th, and then those are going on the truck. Whatever's left is going on the truck, and the price is going back up again. So if you want a really good deal, guys, go grab them. All of our eBooks are also up to 75% off, 50 to 75% off for all our eBooks and e-courses. Um, today I am making out of dining on a dime, gluten free, dairy free, the fudge brownies right there, page 284. The fudge brownies in dining on a dime, 60% off, gluten free, dairy free. And then we're going to chat. Those are some awesome brownies, guys. About our move. All right, you want to turn your oven on 350. Take your eight by eight pan and spray it with some cooking spray, just like so. Do it for me, go down. Yep. Okay. Now don't blink, guys, because this is just going to go and it's disappear and you're gonna say, oops, what happened? I forgot my shortening, that's what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, I just hit myself in the face. We should be getting this on camera. Okay. Oh, man. We need just... multiple cameras for this, I, I think. I think. Okay. Now, to measure shortening, so I need three quarters of a cup of shortening. So I'm going to put water in here to one and a quarter, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shortening and bring it up to two, okay? That's how to measure shortening because... Remember, oil and water do not mix. And so this is an easy, easy way to make sure you get the right amount of shortening for your recipes, okay? And just a little bit more. Just get it all underneath. There we go. Then just pour off the water. Whoa, I almost took yeah, my don't, shortening don't. in the sink. I was like, what are you doing? You're not rolling the shortening. Oops, I got a little bit of water in there. That won't hear anything. Okay. Oh, guys, I've only been home about 15 minutes since 8 o'clock this morning. So <laughs> let's see. How long have I been home? No, 45 minutes. I've been home 45 minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, and plus two tablespoons. I forgot my plus two tablespoons. So let me put that in. And there we go. Okay. Now we're going to add our sugar, trying to use up all that I can of my ingredients. So I've been making tons of homemade bread, tons of cakes, cookies, everything to use up my ingredients. My vanilla. This is my homemade vanilla. The recipe's in Dining on a Dime Volume 1 and our website livingonadime.com this recipe guys is in the description below and on our website livingonadime.com i know i just made this not this long ago but we absolutely love these brownies and i wanted to get some more ingredients used up so that's what we're making tonight okay and the family is super happy about that, aren't you? About using everything up? Making brownies. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh, oops. I was supposed to put in eggs one at a time. Oh, well. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so what, does it matter if it's one at a time? Oh, it just helps incorporate it a little bit better. But I, um, 
honestly, I never do eggs one at a time. I know it's supposed to make them fluffier and all that good stuff and get it all nice. But I don't know. I'm a lazy cook, so I just usually throw it all in. Okay. Now, you can use the, the mixer if you want. That's totally fine. Now, I'm going to get my salt. And my salt is all packed, so I'm having to use my salt shaker. This is all the salt I have left for the next week. That's fine. What? I know. What? It's only half a salt shaker for one week. I know. You mostly by yourself. Especially <laughs> when the world needs more salt, and I'm going to run out. Now, this is my favorite gluten-free all-purpose flour. It's the Walmart brand. It's cheaper than making it yourself. It works every time. Now, if you want to make your own homemade gluten-free flour, I have a recipe that is a copycat of this in our gluten-free, dairy-free book right here. 60% off right now, livingonadime.com. So if you want a gluten-free flour, um, and you can't get this Walmart one. Mine's pretty darn tootin' close to ugh, the real thing. So, um, and there we go. And I'm adding just a titch more because my first one was just shy of a half cup that I needed. Then xanthan gum is already in this particular flour, so I'm not going to add that. Got my salt. Now my baking cocoa, I need three quarters. So Coke for baking cocoa, you want to press it in. You want it to be nice and firm and packed in there, okay? Use a knife if you want. I'm being lazy and not doing that. And there we go. People are freaking All out right. as to why is this the last show? You answer that before. Well, maybe we should tell them at the end of the show why it's our last show. Oh. Can we tell them? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> we so should do that, tease, shouldn't we? Aren't you? <laughs> okay, so let me get my brownies done, and then I'll tell you why. Oh, Tara, why this is the last show? Okay, so we're turning this. They're not turning it. We're stirring this all together getting it all nice and mixed. Now, like I said, usually I use the mixer for this, but everything's getting packed up, so I'm showing you how to stir it by hand. Now, here's a little tip. See the little lumps in there? If you want to make your cookies or whatever brownies smooth, so you don't have the lumps of oil or whatever, take the back of your spoon and push it against the side of the bowl, okay? That's how you smooth out the lumps. Just push it out the side of the bowl. Then, see how I'm just smashing it against the side? And if you don't have a mixer, you can get all the lumps out really well, and everything's nice and smooth. Now, once again, livingonadime.com, 60% off. We have 13 volume one cookbooks left. We have 650 gluten-free, dairy-free cookbooks left and about 350 financial planners. Thank you guys for everyone who has purchased for our We Don't Want to Move It sale. How many dining ones did you say? 13. Oh, oh you just saw that. And wow, impressive. Well, I looked before the show. I thought you said 16 before the show. Oh, I did. There was 16. Oh, okay. What did I say now? 13? 13. And you're oh. exactly right. Oh, there was 16. So three people already bought some. Um, guys, it's not going to be 60% off after that. If you um, are part of Facebook groups or whatever, would you guys share this sale? This 60% off is a great deal, especially for the gluten-free Oh my goodness, have you guys seen gluten-free cookbooks? They're ridiculously priced, my goodness. Some of the eBooks, you get like 10 recipes for $15. I'm sitting here thinking, that is absolutely nuts. Okay, I got it really smooth. And 
Now I'm going to put it in. Oh, I've got my chocolate chips. These are my favorite chocolate chips that I like. They're the cheapest ones that I've found, and I just get these at Walmart for like $3. And they're the dairy-free ones. So those are the ones that I normally use. Now, I am using these today. I have no idea where these came from and how they ended up in my pantry. <laughs> because I know I did not buy I wonder these. If they were, oh, there's a hair on the package. Oops. I wonder if I'm they uh, came from Ellie's friend that moved. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Ellie had a friend that moved and a whole bunch of groceries just showed up in my <laughs> pantry one day. And I'm wondering if that was hers. So we're going to give these ones a try and see how they taste. I don't know how good or bad they are, but we'll see. Um, okay, now we're just gonna put this in our pan. Wow, look at all these hearts and cares and everything else. Oh, do we have lots of people on here? Yep. Wow. Well, thank you guys for joining us <laughs> um, for our last show. Uh, <laughs> Okay, now I have to say, sorry, I'm going a little slow here, guys. My hands are kind of hurting from packing and everything. And well, you, don't, so you don't grease the pan? I, I did gonna... already. Yeah. I did earlier. I was say. She must have come in a little bit late, but yeah, I did. So, all right, and then look at all that fudgy goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Yum, 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 yum. Smells really good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, get that all smoothed out. Wow. Okay, that just looks divine. Then we're gonna stick it in the oven, just like so. And that guys <laughs> is gluten-free dairy-free oops i just splatted my cookbook fudge brownies page 284 60 off living on a dime.com guys and now here's the best part <laughs> mm. oh my goodness that is delicious Well, you gotta good. love raw brownie batter. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. All right. Any questions, my love? All kinds of questions. Uh, uh oh. Actually, there. Um, somebody said, Ali Oakley you said no picture. Or you might refresh. If you could actually hear me, maybe I should type it in the comments just in case. Um, we are getting a picture in town. So for me, it looks totally good on everything. So. Uh, Tiffany, thank, oh, Jill, thank goodness you have those young men to help load all your stuff up. Yeah, good thing, huh? <laughs> all right, so this is moving week for us. Yep. Do I have chocolate on my face? No. Okay. Um, oh, Amy's asking if you got the pictures that she sent you. Yes, Amy, I did. I am so sorry. I am, like, so behind on my email. It's not even funny, but I got them. Thank you very much. Um we are having moving week so this is our last show what in this kitchen you're freaking everybody out <laughs> we are not going to ever film in this kitchen again <gasps> what what it all started here it did all start here wow so it's a moment guys share a moment with us everyone go ah <laughs> Aww. Woo -hoo! No more dogs. <laughs> no more dogs. Yeah. Um, we are moving this week. Mike and the boys are leaving tomorrow and they are going to drive out to Kansas and load mom's stuff in the first 26 foot Penske truck because we dumped U Haul. When they called and said, They were going to dump us. <laughs> we will let you know two days ahead of time if. You will have a truck and i'm like but you had reservations a month ago so you'll be at the closer to the top of the list i'm if like we can get you one they still said if though what do you mean if you can get me one what's the point of reservations 
So anyway, um, so we dumped U-Haul and we're going with Penske. We, Mike and the boys are going, leaving late tomorrow afternoon, about, yeah, later tomorrow afternoon. And they're going to drive to Wichita. Woo, right in the middle of moving road trip. <laughs> but we're happy to be coming out, man. 7.30 in the morning, they're picking up the truck and they're taking it over to mom's house and loading all of her stuff. And then they're going to play Minecraft with Uncle Dave <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> for yeah. a for few hours, hours tomorrow or Friday evening and then get up early Saturday morning and try and make it home in time for Dave to go to a party with his friends for the last time for a while. Well, for like a month. Until he comes down to visit. <laughs> so, yeah. And so we are trying to just hold it together at this point. <laughs> oh, dude, wait, what? It's been, blurry. it's been kind of crazy, but we're glad to be getting things wrapped up. Is that the camera itself or is that? Yeah, the... that was the camera itself. No, I got it. I got oh, it. Oh, did it go back in? Yeah. Hmm, uh, we may have to rework the video the gear. <laughs> So you didn't answer the question then. God bless. No, what? what do you mean last show? I already said that. Did you? Yeah, I said this is our last show in this kitchen. <laughs> so people are wondering when they might see us again. Okay, so let's talk about when you might see us again. Next year. Wait. Let me say this about, oh, sorry. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Thank you. I am so Thank sorry. You catching that. I, I so appreciate sorry. that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm sorry. Okay, so let me tell you about our week a little bit here. So our van died, had to sell the van. Then we went to go use the truck. It's mom's truck, but it's been at our house for 10 years. <laughs> we, uh, we moved in here and we just never got it back to Kansas. So we were trying to use the truck and it wasn't working. So we took it in and had $600 worth of work done. What? Oh, Karen said the turkey fire. Oh, wait. Somebody says any chance you could. Who said any chance you could compile shows? Oh, yeah. So then. um, From this kitchen or DVD or flash drive and sell them to your devoted fans. We, uh, we took in um, $600 on the pickup. And it still wasn't working. Well, come to find out it needs a new transmission. So yesterday I called the transmission shop and said, I have this 78 Ford pickup. How much would it be a transmission? He said three to $4,000. Okay. So then we were like, okay, is it worth putting three to $4,000 in a truck that's only worth about 3,500? Because we can't determine the amount that this truck is worth. Nata says one condition it's 50, worth $5,800, and then in another condition, it's worth $18,000. So we have no idea how much this truck is actually worth. So if we get in a car accident, we're like, okay, would we get our money back? See, what we've learned before is it's not just putting the money into the vehicle and thinking, am I willing to put the money in? But if the vehicle's book value is less than what you have in it, and it gets crashed for reasons that aren't your fault, you won't get the money from the insurance company yeah. for what you have in it. Yeah, so we um, so we called and I, he said, okay, that's how it'll be three thousand to four thousand dollars. And I said, okay, how long will it take to fix? He said, oh, seven to ten business days. I said, is there any way it could be five business days because we are moving to Wyoming and I can't get my truck up there. I have no way to tow it, nothing. And he's like, oh, well, if you can get it in here quick, then we can see if we can get it done. So we're um, waiting to see now if we have a truck. Then we have been packing and packing and packing. And yesterday, was it yesterday afternoon? I don't know. I told Mike, I said, you know, I said, I am plum worn out. Honestly, I'm just exhausted, beyond exhausted. 
And I think we're gonna have to take off a few weeks once we get to the new house. So, <laughs> for those of you wondering when we're coming back, that's the long version. <laughs> we are thinking the middle of August to the 1st of September before we come back. We just need some adjustment time. or the Yeah, we, we're gonna have to get the new house set up. We're gonna have to get well, we're going to have to get some sort of something set up for the show because we can't shoot in this kitchen. And there's no way we can put a show kitchen together ourselves in a month. Um, so it'll probably be mid-August to mid-September before we come back. Now, we will have a few videos that we've already pre-shot in this kitchen that you guys will be seeing for the next couple of weeks. So you'll, you'll only be without videos for a few weeks not very long um actually so, yeah it's been it's been a pretty wild couple of weeks and especially for tara probably a month yeah it well is. i've been working six full weeks non-stop and even though with the brain zapping has really helped with my sleeping i mean i feel so much better getting the brain zapping done with my sleeping and stuff but just having chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia has just worn me out having to pack and to do the brain zapping i've been gone for three to four hours every day driving in horrid traffic begging god to protect our lives until we can get out of here <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably when we're going to come back mike is working on editing videos right now so you'll have a few but we're going to keep but our our book sales are going to be done so once if you guys want 60 percent off on the print books i don't know how many volume one we have left we had 13 a few minutes ago but if you want volume one or gluten-free dairy-free it ends june july 11th at midnight or when we run out so either one of those if you want them 60% out by the way i don't know who's been telling people about the gluten free but thank you we have been selling these puppies right and left i mean we we've just been selling them like crazy so thank you whoever has been promoting that we noticed and we really appreciate it so um jane a couple of people were confused <clears throat> and jane asked the gluten-free, dairy-free is available as a print book, and that's the one that's 60% off. Uh, the ebook is, I don't remember how much the ebook is off. 50% um, the, the off. The print book is 60% off, and if you just go to our store, you can go to livingonadime.com and click shop or store, whichever it shop. is. Shop. Um, it's right on the front page, the print book. But the other thing is if you can't find it there on the left side, there's a menu and you can click print books and it's, it's in that one. So that's how you know you're in the right category. And it actually says on the title of the books for everyone who is wondering, uh, I try to make it in all caps on most of them, print book or ebook so that we tried to keep people from getting too confused. So hopefully that'll help. Uh, it's people's birthday. People's. Oh, people's it birthday. is. Oh, happy birthday, people. Happy birthday. I don't have a lighter. My lighter's out by the fire pit. Oh, dear. Well, happy birthday. Yes. I am so glad us July babies have to stick together. <laughs> it's so wonderful because we're moving 10 days before my birthday. And so my license has to be renewed this year. And guess what? I get out of taking a driver's test again. How does one make it to 50 years old and has never had a driver's test? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Only me. And I don't know how I did it, but I'm just super excited. I don't have to take it again. Of course, everyone should be afraid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear people. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Woo! Happy birthday. Yay. Yay. Another question that's come up multiple times. What is brain zapping? What is brain zapping? Oh, okay. Well, we've been talking about for the last several shows, but what brain zapping is, it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation. TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation. Is like a massage for your brain? 
It's like a massage for your brain. They put a big magnet on your head and it's approved for depression. FDA approved for depression, but um, I have noticed it's really helped my fibromyalgia, believe it or not. My fibromyalgia planes down. It's helping me sleep a lot better. I am a lot perkier. You'd never know it, but I am doing a lot. Mike, we decided because it started helping me so much that we decided to have Mike try it for his anxiety. Yes, you. And it's really helping him with his anxiety. And so anyway, it's called TMS, Trans Cranial Magnetic Stimulation. But you have to take six weeks and go every single day for six weeks. And it's only a 20 minute treatment, but the treatment place for us is in Fort Collins, which is normally a 40, 45 minute drive up there, but they're having con major, major construction. And so like 90% of the time we go up there, it's a parking lot and we have to sit. And so it takes us a long time to get up there. That's why um, it did it. So, uh, uh, Willow, how did we find a place to do the TMS? Uh, I just Googled it and found one near us. How did you hear about it? <laughs> I just Googled treatments and actually a Google ad popped up and it was one treatment that I haven't tried. And so I thought, well, shoot, why not? It's covered by the insurance. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So anyway, and I have, I mean, I was getting really, I think I was just getting plain depressed. No offense to my family. I love my family, but having everybody home for the last year and a half has just about put me over the edge. Sorry, but <laughs> I'm used to having the house to myself and having time to recover from having everyone around. <laughs> So I think just everyone being home and dealing with everyone home and not being able to do much. Yeah. It just started wearing on me. So, so a couple of people asked how much does it cost or did you get that? So that it's covered on Medicare. Yeah, it's covered on Medicare, probably not Medicaid, but it's covered on Medicare and it was about a thousand dollars for me to do it. We had to pay cash for Mike and it was about $3,000. But let me tell you, it's the best $3,000 we ever spent. <laughs> I think. Don't you agree? You're sleeping really good. Yes, yes, actually I am sleeping really well. For I don't know why, but for a few years I was starting to have like weird waking up at four o'clock in the morning and just spiraling in my thoughts while I was trying to go back to sleep and I couldn't. And so, it's helping, isn't it? Yeah, the, it's not. So Tara had mentioned it's approved for depression in the U.S. Yeah, it's not approved for PTSD, which is what he's being treated for. But is it not approved for that? I well, I mean, sure. it's approved off label, but you can't. The insurance won't cover it for she, that. She said that um, they use it for anxiety in other countries, but it's not approved here. But after talking to me, she said she thinks that anxiety is more PTSD contributing to anxiety and whatever, <laughs> but, but whatever it is, I mean, it, it is definitely helping. And I was kind of, I'm always uh, suspicious about new things that I, just because we've had experiences in the past that weren't the best. And so I kind of looked online at Mayo Clinic and some other places to see what they said about it. And I thought, okay, it's, maybe it's worth a try. So I am sleeping a lot better. I think, other things are better too, but it's just a little hard to be sure. Well, the problem right now is we're doing it in the middle of moving. <clears throat> this isn't the best time for us actually to be doing it, but because we're moving to such a semi rural area, we're not going to be able to get the treatment where we're going in Wyoming. And so, um, so it was like, well, we got to do it now or not do it. And so, we decided to go ahead and do it now, even though we knew that it was going to take a lot. But Jennifer, do they have one in Boulder? I don't know. There's one in Fort Collins and one in Denver, but I don't know if there's one in Boulder. I would be surprised if there wasn't. But yeah. Aw, thanks.
thanks. She said I could stay at her house if I need to come down. That's so <laughs> nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, I might take you up on that if I need to. Even if that, it might be worth it to drive to Fort Collins. So, but all right, let's see. So we get see. to go together. We have gone together mm -hmm. quite a number of times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. uh, so there was, oh, somebody earlier asked about, I think, BJ and Ellie. Oh, our BJ and Ellie BJ movie. And Ellie, will they move with you? No, they are not. So <laughs> we moved Ellie out last week. She moved. <laughs> this was hilarious. <laughs> I told her she's never living this down for the rest of her life. <laughs> Friday? Yeah, Friday. So Friday, we moved her out Friday. She's moved out into an apartment with a roommate. And we got her moved out. And, um, so we Cal came back and she went to go do her paramotoring. And so we were like, okay. And, and, uh, was that the night we watched her paramotoring? I can't remember. But anyway, um, she went to go do her paramotoring and then she came back to the house and she said, well, she said, I know I moved out, but I think I'm going to spend the night. <laughs> I said, what? She said, well, I have to be back paramotoring at 530. She said, so why drive all the way home and then drive all the way back? I'm just going to spend the night. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> so then we had um, BJ. I don't know if this was before the last show or not. So then we had BJ on the show. Uh, or, I mean, then we had BJ um I don't remember if it's the next night or the night after. Um, Mike got a text from him at one o'clock in the morning and said, I wrecked my car. Oh, yeah, we were on last show. Yeah. Yeah. So then he um, so then he didn't have a car. Well, he took and took his Model A. So he has my grandpa's Model A. He he inherited my grandpa's Model A. And it was the fourth of July. And they were having an old fashioned day at where he works. And um, so he took the Model A up there. And we come in, we come in in the morning, and here's BJ sleeping on the couch. <laughs> we're like, what? And so he said, I didn't know my storage shed had a 10 o'clock curfew lock time, and my keys and everything are locked in the storage shed. <laughs> So then he was on the couch. So it was pretty hilarious. They were moved out, but they kept coming to, to spend the night. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Which it's fine. I just think it's funny. We don't care if they spend we'll the night. We'll miss them. So. Wait, did you talk about Ellie movie? Yeah. Yeah. We really like her place. I think she. Yeah. She's what? Really oh, like what it. is the paramotoring? It's a mother's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Just look it up. Well, she has it. So, like, it's, so it's a big fan it. that she puts on her back and has a parachute behind her, basically. And she runs along the ground, turns the fan on, pulls the parachute up, and sits in this little sling chair thing and starts going around the sky hundreds of and then thousands of feet in the air, depending on how high she wants to go. She has a book, so, and, it, and the book calls it Powered Paragliding. So if you've seen the paragliders, they're they're like parachute wings that kind of are shaped like that. And, yeah, the thing that Tara was talking about, the fan, it's like a big backpack with the aviation straps on it, and she wears the helmet like a pilot and everything. And basically, they it's really cool, actually, now that we've actually seen it. But uh, she... They power up the thing, do their test, and then they bring up the wing and and run and kick on the motor. Yeah. There is some skill required, but it's it's pretty impressive to see. And apparently, there aren't a lot of girls that do it, so she was trying to get more girls to do it too. She was pretty enthusiastic and yeah, yeah. So and everyone's everyone that we saw there was saying, oh. You're Ellie's parents? Oh, she's awesome. We, we, we love Ellie. She's great. Well, what happened was just she was actually planning on moving up to where we're going with us. And um, then we had decided we weren't finding a house. We just basically give it up. So she went and 
spend all the money to buy all this equipment, which is a, a sizable investment. She spent a good chunk of change on all this stuff. And uh, so uh, she signed up for classes. Well, she had just started classes and we found the house. So she was like, well, I can't take classes where you guys are going. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stay down here for a year, finish my classes and do that. And then she might come up there. BJ's talking about possibly bringing his RV up there to um, park on our lot. So, yeah. So who knows? We don't know what's going to happen. But, yeah. <laughs> Actually, so. we were making jokes about the whole thing because... I was saying, yeah, mom, it's time to let the kids just spread their wings and fly. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because it, there is danger to it. It's really dangerous. If it's you're, an extreme sport. It's really dangerous if you're it's not. Extreme. Uh, extreme. Really stupid stuff. If you're not respectful it's of the danger and prepared not. for it, she's done a lot to really mitigate the danger for her. But even so, it's still a dangerous sport. So. Still a mother's worst nightmare. But it is cool watching her fly around and uh, yeah, the place where she flies is not that far. Well, one of the places she flies is not that far from the house. It's a few miles away. And the other day we were packing books and my phone rang and Tara realized that she heard a motor off in the distance and she said, that's Ellie. And we all ran outside yeah. and she was flying right at the edge of the neighborhood waving to us. <laughs> it was hilarious because like a half a second before the phone rang, I heard it. And then the phone rang and I knew it was her and I looked up and sure enough, here she was zooming along right over, uh, right over our house almost. She couldn't, she, she, you can't fly over neighborhoods or anything unless it's like an emergency or something, but you can't fly over neighborhoods. And so she just skirted the edge of our neighborhood, but we're, we're on the edge of our neighborhood. So we were able to see her really well. And she was, she was waving and everything. So yeah. yeah. Actually, she has a really good instructor, and uh, the instructor is very particular about making sure that everyone understands all the dangers and the safety, and basically teaches them all to be amateur meteorologists, and she carries mm -hmm. around this phone app that has all the winds and which way they're going, and it's funny because it's not just wind in one direction, but it's it's a map of all these little spots where the wind is in different directions, and it's, it's pretty amazing, so. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, there were some other things earlier, I thought. We already answered brain zapping. Uh, a lot of people saying they got their books and they're really happy. Yay! Thank you. I don't know if we have any volume one left. At the beginning of the show, we had 16 left. So volume one and gluten-free is all that we have left in the financial planners. Um, so what is do you use to, on your hair to keep so mine looks dry and wiry? Karen. Uh I just use a mask once every two or three weeks, just a hair mask. And then I also use um, Aussie, you know, the Aussie, the purple conditioner. I use the little squirt bottle three minute leave in conditioner and the spray bottle, or no, the, the three minute deep conditioner and then the leave in conditioner are the two that I use also. Oh, Jonica says, first time to order cookbooks. Can't wait to get them. My youngest son has autism and loves to cook. Oh, good. That is awesome. They're easy recipes. So I, we have a lot of kids that use them. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think about it being something because yeah. I know people with autism have certain things that they're super skilled at yeah. a lot of times. And that sounds yeah. kind of interesting. Yeah. Anita says, hello from Norway. <gasps> Our favorite our favorite country. Love what watching is, your shows um, and videos. Before you, I wasn't at all aware of the stores have a clearance aisle. Bought two liters of milk today and saved fifty percent. You go, girl! Yay! That is great. Yeah, when we, when we were there, we found a lot of clearance stuff. Yep. And we also found that their clearance still isn't even close to our prices. Norway, Norway. I'm telling you, after going to Norway. Absolutely no one can complain about grocery prices to me here in the United States. I'm sorry. You have nothing to complain about compared to Norway. Oh, my word. It's absolutely absurd. A two pound. If you live in Norway, you have every right to complain. If you live in Norway, you can complain about grocery prices. If you live in the United States, you cannot complain. A two pound bag of sugar that costs like $1.50 here was like 10 bucks there. 
It was crazy, absolutely crazy. It was beautiful, a beautiful, yeah. beautiful country. And uh, Turid, who's on the show sometimes, um, we were with her family a lot. Yep. And her son programmed the house where we were staying there into into my phone as home on Google Maps, and it's still on there. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's pretty awesome. Um, somebody asked, ooh, oh, oh, look, guys. Okay, so just take a toothpick. This is my big knife, but just take a toothpick or something and put in the middle and see how clean that is. That means that they are done. They smell really good. Oh, we're going to let them cool just a little bit. Um, why did we pick Wyoming? Well, because we wanted to get away from the crazy. We've had it with the Colorado crazy. We've had it with the dogs, dogs, that, dogs. that people just let run loose and bark all day long. We're tired of the traffic. We're tired of driving to go anywhere. Um, we're tired of all the chaos. We're tired of some of the political stuff that's going on here. And so we just wanted to go someplace where we could just have maybe some peace, hopefully. And it's beautiful. The, the place we live, it's going to be a mile to any shopping that we need. So I'm super excited. It's like a half a mile to Jack's school. And depending on if we put them in public, we'll probably put them in public school to start and see how well it goes. But we're hoping Wyoming maybe has their brain on a little bit better than Colorado for the schools. Um, we're hoping they actually teach them stuff. Yeah, so. hopefully, hopefully they're teaching something. And you know, it's hilarious because every person the last 10 days to two weeks that we've talked about going to Wyoming, every person, every single person has said, are you guys leaving to get away from the crazy? Every person. It's, it's, it's weird. It's hilarious. When we were young, Colorado was kind of John Ven John John Denver kind of Colorado, like laid back and relaxed. Nice, and, yeah. And it's it's just like it's just like Los Angeles now. Yeah. Or, I mean, it's. I it's, mean, no offense, Californians, but all the Californians have moved in, and they're making it just like. California now and it's like Jennifer said Colorado is going insane and not not the fun kind either not the fun kind of crazy it's not you know and I'm not exaggerating you'll go to a stoplight and it will turn red and five to ten cars will run the red light and you can't even drive here anymore and so and I know it's not near as bad as LA I totally get that I know it's we're going to LA in September and I'm not looking forward to it, but I totally get that. But you know, this is not the same place it used to. Excuse me, it used to be. So yes, we got the. Would you believe the inspections? VA loan is what they were getting. So we were expecting them to have this laundry list of stuff they wanted done. They didn't ask for one thing. Not one. Totally sailed through the inspection. We are all set to go on everything. Our loan was approved today. And so now we just have to get everything loaded up and pray we don't break down on the way up there. Yeah. Yeah, Amazing Grace Ranch. Tracy, is everything ready? Did both houses get their appraisals and inspections done? I know it's already yep. said. But, uh, yeah, everything is pretty much done. So it should be a pretty smooth process from here on out. Of course, you know, with yeah. houses, we always – wait to make sure everything gets all the way to the end uh -huh. but we're pretty pretty confident at this point so okay are they done yes but they have to go over to the end. <laughs> thank you sj appreciate that wow hi from england it's it's 014 <laughs> here yeah wow good morning <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we were all over a couple of years ago but um a couple of years before that ellie and i were over there and the rest of the family was still here doing shows and so we got this we got the feeling of what it's like to watch this show after midnight. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, let's uh, will see. Will the show still be going to do a house time? tour and announce the place before August? Probably not. We really, really need a break. So I'm really sorry. I know you guys are super excited to see the new place, but we have got to just 
take a break. So we probably, I'm not going to say we're not definitely, but at this point, we just really need to get a break. So um, will Wyoming be our forever home? I don't know. Hopefully. Hope so. It's pretty nice. At least. We're, we're super excited about where we're going, actually. Assuming no Coloradoans start going up yeah. to, to Wyoming. You mean like us? Like us? <laughs> like us. Yeah, like uh, us. It's, yeah, it's very so mellow, <laughs> and it I don't know. It feels like going back in time, in a sense, in terms of yeah. life being. Like, I guess it wasn't that way as much in Kansas as it is here, but it's very tense all the time. Like, people are very tense. And that didn't used to be the Colorado thing. Yeah. And it's kind of like going back in time when we go up there, it's pretty relaxed. Yeah. And not a tremendous amount of people. And we kind of really appreciate that. Do so. we know if the schools are teaching CRT in the public schools teaching it in Wyoming? We do not know yet. We are going to find that out. And if it's so, we will not be going. I highly doubt it. Wyoming people don't put up with that kind of baloney. So yeah. I don't know. Um, and we certainly don't put up with that kind of baloney. Um, we, ugh. We're very particular about school. Okay. Ugh. We have been talking about this kind of baloney with the public school since our kids have started going. And it's extremely frustrating because we have talked to friends and pastors, people who are Christians, and some of the stuff that they're teaching in school, and they're just like, well, you know, you just kind of have to put up with it. No, you don't. Well, now parents are finally getting fed up and standing up to the school boards, and that's great, but you shouldn't have let it get this far. You guys should, the parents should have been standing up, not you guys, but the parents should have been standing up to these schools this whole time. I mean, our school was teaching that aliens brought us our technology that was, that was for three deep. years. Three deep. years. Was, and we were the first people to complain about it. Well, it wasn't three years with our kid. It was. Well, no, but the school, was, that's what I said. The school was teaching it for three years. The yeah. Teacher was teaching Seriously? They replaced the teacher. Now. So then when our kid gets in there and I'm like, what are you doing saying aliens built the pyramids and brought us our technology. Are you kidding me? So that was the school wasn't promoting that particularly, but the teacher was teaching that. And although when Tara did, Ellie and I were out of the country at the time. And when Tara talked to the anything. school, they didn't do anything. Although one month later when school was over, he announced he was leaving teaching. So we're thinking, thank goodness. But how did it get three years teaching aliens brought us our technology? You're kidding care. me. And the problem, I'm sorry, but the problem is parents are spending money they don't have on things like cars and houses and Starbucks and purses and toenail pedicures and fingernail manicures and stuff they can't afford. So parents are worn out working and they're not paying attention to what their kids are being taught in school. And last year when the kids were actually had to be home, parents were like, what in the world is going on? How are you teaching this? <sighs> That's my rant for the day, but oh my goodness. I'm glad parents are finally standing up to this, but it's almost too little too late because you have let them get this far for so long that I don't, I don't know how we're going to get out of it. But anyway. Robin, after you move, will the show still be at the same time? Probably. Yeah, probably. We don't anticipate changing that. Uh, but we'll probably take a break for a little bit of time just to kind of regather our berries. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Joy wants to know if we found a church there. We have not yet. No. There are... Um, there are a number of potentially good options. And there's one in a town a little bit away that we're fairly confident would work if yeah. the things in town don't work. So we're, we're pretty yeah. jazzed about that. Kyra says she needs to look into the TMS. I sleep four hours and toss and turn and never for rested. That was me. I tossed and turned every single night. And the only thing that helped me sleep was the NyQuil Z that had alcohol in it. It's the name brand uh, NyQuil that has alcohol in it. That did help me. But since I've tar started the TMS, the brain zapping, 
it don't look up brain zapping that's just me saying brain zapping it's called tms um i have been sleeping eight hours straight and it's like a miracle i don't hurt when i sleep anymore and so it's actually been really good so dizzy lady 35 enjoy your break once you're settled into your new home we're not going anywhere oh thank you very much deborah i've always heard wyoming has the most beautiful sky it is pretty. it does yeah it's very pretty yeah mm -hmm. actually if it's funny if you live in a really urban place and you've been there all your life <laughs> you would be afraid you would be <laughs> sort of uneasy about the mm -hmm. the lack of things we had friends from mississippi come up and they were totally mortified when they hit the colorado border and they saw no and they had no trees in western kansas and eastern colorado <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it really bothered them. I'm surprised. Our friend Patty, she was really disturbed by it. <laughs> well, it's funny because when we moved to Idaho years and years ago, we didn't move from a super urban place. But, well, we moved from Colorado. But I had yeah. grown up in central Texas. And Colorado in those days was pretty mellow. But oh, it was yeah. still a lot of people. And we went to Idaho, and there was virtually nobody. And... I remember being quite alarmed about it for several mm -hmm. months, but then finding that I really liked the kind of less chaos. And yeah. You so, know, but on the okay. other side, wouldn't you be a bit disturbed if you were enclosed in trees all the time? Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, it's funny because- it would bother me to have, when we went to Pennsylvania, it really bothered me having trees all over. Well, yeah. I, it's funny because I had a friend in Kansas who was from New York City, and he was always saying how it was unnerving to him to have all this open space all around. Yeah. And it's funny because I was thinking, I think I would find it unnerving if there were buildings around me all the time. Yeah. So it's funny how you kind of get used to, it. Get used to one thing and, and really appreciate it, so. <laughs> Brownies, Jack! Mm. <laughs> Man, they're still hot. Ooh. Okay, here's the test, it's hot, hot, hot. Oh, yum. Okay, so these are the gluten-free. Ow. These are the gluten-free dairy. Like these better than the regular ones. Dairy-free brownies. Really I wonder why. Because they have chocolate chips and they're fudgy or with I mean, chocolate chips. Do they always have chocolate chips? Uh-huh. Yeah. My regular brownie recipe, I don't Ooh. use chocolate chips and you like the chocolate chips. It doesn't need to cool down. Mm. It's pretty hot. Do you want me to the refrigerator? No, it'll be okay. Oh, uh, very Rose, very good. Rose this you. is the fourth show I've watched that the host has moved within the month. <laughs> oh, wow. really? Wow. Hmm. Mm. Oh, thanks. Nebo's been passing the information around ourselves. Thank you guys for sharing our sale. We really appreciate it. And we've noticed that you guys have been sharing it. Thank you very we much. We can tell by the cookbook sales. So thank you. We really appreciate it. We don't want to move this stuff. Well, and the thing about the gluten free book is it's probably a little harder to sell because we're not a gluten-free or I mean tar is gluten-free but our focus isn't gluten-free necessarily mm. but people that eat gluten-free would probably really like to have normal food because I think when most people think of gluten-free they think of really exotic expensive things that they have to buy at fancy stores yeah but this is actually stuff that people can make that tastes like what they're used to and mm -hmm. And it's not super crazy expensive to make. So, mm -hmm. so I'm, we're, we're definitely appreciating those of you who shared that. Ooh, Lori just got volume, or I got volume one as a birthday gift and just got gluten-free as well. Mm. Hey, thank you. Helter uh, Skelter, I love and appreciate trees. I love and appreciate trees. But I will tell you, I had a really hard time when Ellie and I went on our trip to look for houses a couple of years ago. Three years ago now, I guess. When we were in like Tennessee and Pennsylvania and all all that, I had a hard time because here you can see for miles and miles and miles. And it was kind of unnerving not being able to see more than, you know, what, half a mile away or whatever. It's kind of like you don't know what's over there. Yeah. <laughs> not knowing what was around the corner was kind of <clears throat> weird. Uh, Nebo, I got the gluten-free book, even though I'm not gluten-free. I hope you like it. Oops. Honestly, my family who isn't gluten-free, they love 
that gets a second brownie? What the, the sandwich bread? he's dead. Where's my second brownie? And so we use it. Dad gets the swag. All the time. All right. <laughs> um... Samantha, welcome to Wyoming. Homeschooling laws are pretty good here. Yay. We will probably end up homeschooling him. We have every other kid. But at least to get acquainted with the people in the town and get him some friends and stuff like that to get started. Well, we're going to do that. So. If it works out to be in school, we might leave him because he's, he's our super social butterfly. And I think... If the, if the school was working out okay, uh, I think he would like to stay there. Yeah. Uh, but the others, they had varying degrees of the social part, but there were just deal breaker things on the schools at certain points. And at those points, we're like, okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Carol's Cottage says volume one is showing sold out. Oh, all right. Well, thank you guys. Nebo got the glue. Yep. Book sure enough. The they don't they're not gluten free. Yeah. What? So we've oh, sold yes. out of volume one, guys. All we have left is gluten free and financial planners. So go grab those 60% off. Um somebody said, would a sauna help me? Would I try another one? So I had a portable one, Jill. She remembered it. But and I used it a lot. I used it a lot. But it started on fire while I was in it one time. So I'm yeah. a little paranoid now. I, I don't think it would be a problem again, but I have actually thought about getting another sauna. Let's get an outdoor sauna so, so we can go in our swimming suits during the winter and get into the the, the pond behind mm -hmm. the place. Yeah. The sauna well, yours was designed, yeah. Wasn't yours designed to have your head sticking out of it, but you used to yeah. sit down inside of it? Yeah. Yeah, I used to sit in there because it wouldn't get hot enough for me to sweat. I don't sweat. So I had a hard time sweating. Uh, we're going to be in Los Angeles. We have time for a meetup. I'm sorry, we won't. We're there only two days for a YouTube conference we're going to it's to just... try and, and do it. And so basically, we're just staying at the motel the whole time. We're not even leaving the motel. So I'm sorry. We're trying to learn how to do YouTube better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So clubs and church will have friends opportunities also. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're just kind of hoping to sink in there and sort of get to know a lot of people. And yeah. So yeah. Um, ah, Sean, I just ordered the gluten free cookbook for my daughter for Christmas. Yay! Thinking ahead. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Roberto, wishing you all the best with your move and your new home. Jack's Ooh, giving the thumbs up here, for the gluten-free brownies. Come give the thumbs. Go show everybody what you think of the brownies. What do you think? Are they delicious? Yes, they are yummy. Just a little warm. <laughs> yeah, they're warm. They're kind of falling apart. -y. Well, that's because they're still hot. <laughs> Denise, those old sonas always remind me of an I Love Lucy episode. Yeah. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I don't know. Since you brought it up. I remember she suddenly screamed, "Ah, oh, Mike! This thing is on fire!" <laughs> I was, I went and ran in there to help her get out of it. So, Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. I appreciate you not you letting me just burn to death. It yourself. <laughs> it's the least I could do, honey. Yeah. Jennifer says I like the big open sky. Yeah, it is really nice. Yeah. Actually, it's funny we realize you can see when we kind of get away from the cities, it just feels like. Everything decompresses. Yeah. Which is really nice. We're we're pretty excited actually. Somebody wants to know if the brownies are dinner. Well, sort of. And I have leftover barbecue chicken from yesterday that we're gonna finish up and sloppy joes that we're gonna finish up. So <laughs> trying to get everything cleaned out of the freezer. Getting close. Probably have to give Ellie a little bit of it, but that's okay. Nicole, I went to New York City a few years ago, came up by the subway and literally had a panic attack. So many people, so many buildings. I've never been, I've only been in a bus in New York City. So I didn't have that experience, but Tara and Ellie were there. I was there once and that was good enough for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, let's see, what else do we have? Anything? 
Mmm. I'm well, sorry we're torturing you guys eating the brownies. Oh my goodness, mm. they are so delicious. It's not even funny. So you could go so. fire dining on a dime cookbook, gluten free, dairy free edition, <laughs> at livingonadime.com. And get the recipe, huh? And get the recipe and try it out yourself. <laughs> huh? Yeah. That's funny. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Scroll down to the bottom. Yep, what are you going to miss the most by moving? Nothing. Me, I'm going to miss my massage therapist and my hairdresser. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we have a wonderful massage lady. She's helped my fibromyalgia so much. I absolutely love her. And when we could start affording it, I started getting them once a week. And it's that's helped also. I love, finally found a lady that cuts my hair the way I like it cut. And I'm really going to miss her. Um, going to miss nothing else. I'm really not. You know, it's funny. I used to, growing up, we spent every summer back here with my grandparents, my brother and I did. And I loved Colorado growing up. And I moved here straight out of high school because I just <clears throat> loved it so much and wanted to live here and figured out how to do that, even though I was on only getting $300 a month disability. But Colorado is not the same place it used to be. And honestly, I I personally am not going to miss anything. Now, Mike and the boys said they're going to miss hiking. We, but, we can. There's hiking near where we'll be. But before we signed the papers on this house, Tara and I talked, and I said, if we do this, we have to be able to come. The boys and I have to be able to come down here. You are legally bind, bound to like five be or able six to times in the summer. Let us hike. So she said, okay. So there we go. <laughs> are you going to document the move to show us later? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I suspect I once the crazy is over, there might be a little bit of that. <laughs> right I mean, now. I, GoPro for that, but I, ended up not doing it I don't know. But am I going to miss our doctors? I, I have a doctor that's okay, but he's nothing that I don't think can be replaced. So, and we'll yeah. probably, I mean, if we have to, we can go to Casper for doctors. So it's, it's like, it's not like, we can drive to Casper if we need to for things like that. So we're not really that what uh, worried about that kind of stuff. So thank and thank you everyone praying for us. Please pray that the truck gets fixed before we leave and that we don't break down on the way. Um, Get a hot tub. So. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably after the house is paid off again. We'll probably get a hot. We'll probably get a hot tub. We really both. Well, I don't know. We have a pretty nice jetted tub in this house, so. No, that's not so, the same though. Because, I don't know. We'll see. Because then that means only one person could be in at a time. So like, what if? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So. So Lynn, the thing with doctors is we had a doctor we really really liked in Kansas, but since we came to Colorado, we just haven't really found a very good doctor. We just keep moving all around and closing offices, and we just haven't found one that we particularly. We have I mean, one. I have one. He's he's pretty good, but he's an hour away, and so. But at his place, the office is really quirky, and. Um, yeah, the office is awful. They, their scheduling is strange, and sometimes they, um, I, guess I don't know, dentist, it, a lot of times if you want to go in for a fair, for a thing that's going to, well, I think I went in, uh, there was something where I had been sick for three weeks, and I contacted them because I thought I maybe needed antibiotics or something, and they're like, oh, yeah, we can get you in in two months. I'm like, well, two months, I'll either be better or dead, so it's not going to help. <laughs> so ridiculous telemedicine helps yeah we actually have telemedicine through our new health sharing thing so i'm curious i mean it'd be great not to need to use it at all but when we need to use it i'll be curious to see it sounds like it's a good thing so yeah oh i don't know i mean i think everyone who says that they're praying that you're praying for us we appreciate that yes and um 
We are moving to Wyoming for, for those who's, who's wondering. We're not going to say where yet, just because it's not our house. So we're not showing the house, and we don't want to impede on people's privacy. So that's why we're not showing pictures or saying where we're going, because um, Mike was like, well, you know, these people may so not appreciate us showing their house all over the place. So, so we're waiting until until we get there because we don't want to we don't want to impede on their privacy so um although it's hilarious because she found out we had i don't she never did say how she found out we had a show she found us on youtube so on the sellers found us on youtube and then we had an offer from someone who was thinking of buying the house her kids were looking at our our house we had on both ends people knew we were youtubers it was pretty funny mm. so it's anyway kind of weird but yeah. oh i would love to see the northern lights in wyoming i've never seen the lord northern lights and i would love to go to alaska just to see those i think that I would, would be cool see, maybe i'll actually, go by myself in december part do i want to be sweet Dave actually Oh, likes, Dave and I will go for in December. He's always yeah. liked stargazing too, and I told him it would probably be a lot easier to see a lot of stars there because here, yeah. with all the city around, we have to drive 40 miles out of town <clears throat> to get to a place where you can start seeing the stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can see the big ones from where we are, but, but if you want to see like a meteor shower or something. If you want to actually see the sky. Yeah, we yeah. have to go way out. You have to go really far. Yeah, so... Uh, do we have storage buildings on the new property for book storage? Will you use your real kitchen for your shows? So, um, yes, we have a 2000 square foot, huge shop garage thing that even has a bathroom and a sink in there. So we already have plumbing and sewer and electric and heat in there. Um, and we have plenty of room for our books now. And we are not going to be filming in our real kitchen. We are going to set up a studio kitchen because we can't film in our real kitchen. There's no way to film in it. But the, the, way, the way it's designed and set up, there's no way for us to really shoot in it. I mean, it's, it, it'll be, we may have to come up with some temporary things to, to do to, shoot for a little bit but we're thinking about shooting on the deck cooking shows until we, we can get the studio set up maybe wait wait um, wait grilling with grandma whoa grilling with grandma <laughs> did grilling somebody with say grandma. that no i just, I just thought of that. oh you came up with it yeah so um I don't know. A lot of people are asking your mom if they've sold her house yet. No, mom has not yet. sold her house yet. They are going to get all her stuff this weekend, and then she's going to put it on the market. Yep. So and we don't know how long. We don't know how long it's going to take for her to get her sold. Your house will feel a lot, a lot more open and spacious with nothing here. Yeah, it's going to be kind of sad. Yeah. It's going to smell like Nan. That's Nan's house. You're not going to be able to see Nan's house after this trip anymore. <gasps> wow. And actually, oh, was yeah. Dave born when she yep. bought the house? That's the only house Dave's ever known Nan to have. He wasn't born when she bought it, right? No, he was born just after she bought it. Wow. I think, if I remember right. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, anyway. All right, guys. Please don't forget to check out our Dining on a Dime gluten-free, dairy-free. We have sold out of Volume 1. I'm super sorry. We have sold out of Volume 1. We have gluten-free, dairy-free left. 60% off. 60% off our financial planners. Please share it with everybody you can so we can get as many sold so we don't have to move them. Oh, yeah, we don't want to move them. Yeah. So anyway, we will see you guys. This is our last show in this house. We will see you in a few weeks at the new house. And... Thank you for all your prayers. We really appreciate it, and we really need it. And um, David, quick question. We aren't gluten-free, okay, just to make brownies with regular flour, right? Yes, you can. You can so use it. Yeah. If you change it to regular flour, it won't change the consistency mm -hmm. or anything? No. You would be fine. Oh, yeah. You well, can make you the go. recipe. So uh, what about, does the recipe call for the uh, 
uh, what do you call it? Xanthan gum? Well, you won't leave the xanthan gum out. That's just for gluten-free baking to help it rise. And if you have regular flour that has gluten, you don't need xanthan gum. But um, just use regular flour and leave out the xanthan gum and you should be fine. End of an era, guys. You're right. Who said that? Busy lady. You're right. It's the end of an era. <laughs> Looking on to a... Bigger and better things. Actually, it'll be nice if we can get a studio built separate from the house. Yeah, we're <laughs> so, really looking for that. We've been in this house 10 years. Yeah. Last May and, yep, 10 years. <laughs> so now we move on to our old age. <laughs> Speak for yourself, woman. <laughs> oh, livingonadime.com. We will see you guys in a few weeks. Bye. Bye.